Hey, what is up, Skyrim Nation? It's your boy, Jelly Bean. Okay, so today we're down here at the Solitude Docks. Now, the reason why we're down here, I know I'm doing a house tour, as usual, but this is a rather unique house. I had to do one. I might do, cover some more. There's Apparently, there's nine of these, what they call dimensional homes. But for the first one, we're going to be looking at the underwater palace. So when you're down here, you go into the East Empire Trading Company, go into their little shack, and you go over here. Now, over here, you're going to find a little snow globe. Pick up the snow globe, then go to your potions. And there it is right there. What you do is you take it, it gives you 25 boosts to your health, as long as, and it also transports you to a house. So, I'm going to take it, and then I'm going to meet you inside the house. Okay, so we've taken the globe, and now we're down here. Now look at this. You're actually living under the sea. Good old Shergora. Like, look at these beautiful places. Look, just look at the scenery. So, let's get on with this, shall we? We have a lot to look at. Now, unfortunately, you can't harvest any of these flowers. It would be great if you could. Absolutely beautiful. So then you come through here, and you got a choice. You can go that way or that way. But we're going to go this way. Now the nice thing about this house is, no matter where you are in Skyrim, you just take the globe and you're here. Oh, I'm looking at this now and I, I got to do a little bit, I got to do a few more of his mods. These are just absolutely incredible. Like look over here, even put shipwrecks. Absolutely amazing. So let's head downstairs. We'll head down to the next level of this pod. Oh my god. This is absolutely breathtaking. Oh, I would love this kind of a house in real life. Oh, I would just love this in a heartbeat. This is just incredible. There's a glitch. We got a fish in the house. <laughs> One of the fishies actually made it in the house. Hey, guy. You're supposed to be on the other side of the glass. Go back where you belong. I like how he's used the Dwemer furniture. It actually makes it look really sharp with the Dwemer furniture. A little bit better look at that shipwreck. Oh yeah, I would definitely love having this house in real life. This is incredible. And like I said, the nice thing is if you're a traveler and you're a collector and you get overburdened, you just consume the globe, pop into this house, unload all your burdens. Oh, look at over there. Look at this. I don't know what's more amazing. Yes, you can have some followers down here, believe it or not. Another better look at that shipwreck. Well, 
look at this little detail over here. Like I know my videos have a tendency to go a little bit long, but I love to show every little aspect. So we're at the bottom there. Oh, right straight across is with the next pod we're going to go into. But look at all the detail. Like I'd say this guy took hours, but no, this has got up taken months, months and months to build this up so beautifully. Okay, so a little goofy going up the stairs, but let's head over to the last pod. Hey, fishy. You know, you're supposed to be on the other side of the glass, right? Okay. Just as long as you know. And I love how he's made the floors all transparent. Like, you can see right down to the very bottom. Okay, are we at the top? Okay. Oh, no, we're not at the top. We got one more floor up. Like, look at the colors. The colors are so vibrant and bright and, you know, it's not the dull grays and not black. It's not what, it's vibrant. Even the fish, the fish are vibrant and right there, beautiful. I love how he's added all these different little pops of color. Okay, so we're going to go into the next pod. Like, by using the Dwemer furniture, what he's done is, even when you're sitting or you're standing at the table, you're able to look through and really, really enjoy your surroundings. Like, there's color everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's something to see. You could spend hours down here just looking at the fish and oh okay, we will go down to the next level again with all these beautiful pops of color just truly truly amazing and look how he's put these benches so that you can sit here and just admire your house, admire the scenery. I guess this is what a fish would feel like, you know, sitting in an aquarium, swimming around, and then us standing there and watching them. And down here you have your kitchen. All these hand hanging blast baskets with all your... Like, just amazing. Now look what he's done here for the where your cooking pot is. How unique is this? Then down here you have your smithing area. A few mannequins to store some stuff. I 
I don't know. I honestly don't know what's more amazing: the house itself or the overall scenery. Like, who would not want to live under the sea? Like I said, if you look up, you can see right through to the whole house, all levels. But it's just watching all these fish, and you got chopping block. So now you're asking me, okay, we're in here now, but how do we get out? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. So when you're ready to leave, just head back to where you popped in. Yeah, there's a lot of stairs. Okay, so this is where you popped into the house. Now basically, you just go over here, and here's another globe. You take this globe, and you end up back to wherever you started. And then what it'll do is it'll put a globe back into your potion section of your inventory, so you're able to come back and forth between the houses as you please. So this is the underwater palace. I'm glad you've joined me on this little journey. And if you like the mod, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe, it helps me out immensely. So, this is Jelly Bean. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road always rise up to greet you.